this video we're going to go over the market replay on ninja trader 8 so how we can download data how we can replay previous days and test out our strategies and we're also going over some basic troubleshooting in case you find that playback doesn't work for you sometimes so the first thing that we need to make playback work is a data provider that allows take download data so how we find that out it's very simple if we pull up the ninja trader help guide they actually have a list here for all of the providers and what we're looking for is the historical bid and ask take data the good news is is if you're watching this video you most likely already have access to this data so basically anybody out there trading on ninja trader using some sort of a prop firm like apex like i'm using in today's example then you're already going to have this kind of data so for example if we look at rhythmic we line it up with the historical bid and ask take data we can see we do have that available same thing if you're using cqg data uh, or trade of eight you have access to that really the only ones that are going to have some sort of a problem with this are those that are trading using a broker like interactive brokers we can see they do not allow this kind of download and same thing td ameritrade schwab they're all going to have this problem so if you are using somebody like interactive brokers i actually don't recommend using their data for regular trading with ninja trader ss you should be looking into a different data provider like kinetic and combine that with your interactive brokers but that's for another video just know that if you do want to download replay data you are going to need some sort of a provider that allows that to happen but once we confirm that let's move on to actually download the data the first thing we must make sure of is that we're connected to our actual data provider that allows that take download data if you're already on a playback connection or a free end of day data make sure you guys disconnect and then reconnect to your actual data provider but once we have that let's go to our control panel select tools and go to historical data and with that you're going to get this pop-up with ninja trader there are actually two different ways we can download data the first method we're going to go over is the most reliable one because it actually uses level one and level two data this one will give you the most accurate results when you're back testing your strategy and the way we download this one is using this bottom get market replay data and from here all we have to do is type in our instrument name so for this example i'm just downloading the es and then we have to select the date that we want to download so today is christmas eve it's the 24th so i'm just going to download the previous day the 23rd and then just hit that download button it's going to take a second and it's going to download that data once it's done you can select another day so i like to do the sundays as well and then i'm going to move on to the previous week and with this yes you have to download each day individually don't ask me why that's just how it is so each day that you want just select it and hit that download button to verify that day is downloaded you can just head up to your instrument hit market replay find the instrument that you downloaded and here you're going to find the data for each day that you selected so the 23rd the 22nd 20th and the 19th now this is very important guys i get a ton of emails anytime there's some sort of a rollover when it comes to downloading data we must make sure we are on the correct contract date so for an example this one we're downloading march 2025 this is the most current date we just happen to have a rollover on the 16th before it was december 2024 so with this you can only download data for that contract date so I'm just going to keep downloading until we hit that 16th and then just verify we have all of those dates so the 16th 17th 18th 19 20 21st was a saturday so the 22nd and 23rd if you want to download data from a previous contract date just make sure you guys type it down here and download the data for the correct date that you want but for this example i'm just sticking to the current 2025 and we're going to move on to the chart so once we have all of that just exit out of here and from here we're going to disconnect from our current connection 
And now we're going to reconnect, but this time to our playback. Here, you can just hit continue. Once you connect to playback, this playhead is going to generate on your chart, and this is going to help you control your playback connection. So for an example, it's going to display your start and your end time. So here, if you want to start from a specific date, you can select that. Again, if you want to end on a specific date, you can select that. Just make sure the dates that you select are the ones that you actually have data downloaded for. If you want to skip to a specific time, you can just scroll with this little playhead, or you could also right click on the chart, go to, and you can select any time that you want. So for example, I'm going to skip right to 2 p.m. And it's going to take me right to 2 p.m. on the date that we selected. Let's move this up here. And if you want to actually start testing any strategy, you can just hit that play button. You're going to see on the right hand side, your bid and your ask are going to start moving. That means things are functioning, your price is actually updating, and you're going to see your price start to move. So right now I think it's a slower time, but as the price progresses, it's going to move that price. You can also increase the speed in which your price moves. The more you go up, the higher it goes, or the faster it goes, sorry. And obviously you can slow it down to regular time as well. And you can submit orders, you can close out anything that you want. This is how you test out your own strategy. And don't worry, any order submitted through here doesn't actually affect your account. This is all fake money. This is just so you can test out your strategy. And yes, for those with the Predator, this is also where I recommend backtesting your strategies and letting it run. This is going to give you the most accurate results for your strategy. And the other thing about playback is, like I said, this is all fake money. Once you rewind your strategy, so let's say here I lost 37.50 and we go back to 2.30 p.m. It's going to reset that PNL again so you can continue testing your strategy and make those adjustments as you seem fit. So that's how we go over the market replay data. But like I said from the beginning, there are two different ways and I'm going to show you the other method just so we cover everything in this video. So in order to do that, make sure we disconnect from playback and we're going to reconnect back to our main data provider. So in this case, I'm using Rhythmic. Once we're connected, let's again go to our tools, historical data, and this time we are not using market replay, we're going to go to the download section. And just keep in mind guys, the download data is not going to be as accurate as the market replay. It is going to be very similar. The only difference is it doesn't use the level two data. Basically, NinjaTrader simulates that bid and ask, and they do that by setting the price at either the last price or the last price plus or minus one tick at any random interval. So for most strategies, it might not actually make that much of a difference, but just know it's not going to be as accurate as market replay. But there are a few differences with this. To download the data, it's very similar. We still have to select our instrument and we also must be aware of that rollover date. But for this one, we can actually select the start and the end date that we want to download. So that makes it quite a bit easier. Just for this, we have to go to the intervals and I recommend selecting this tick and that's going to give you the tick data. Once you select your date range, simply just hit that download button and it's going to take a minute, but it's going to download that entire range. Once it's not grayed out anymore, let's get out of here. Let's disconnect from our main provider and we're going to reconnect back to the playback. Again, just hit continue. Now, the only difference when we're using historical data, we must go from market replay and select historical. This is going to switch us to historical. And from here, again, you can hit play. And our bid and our ask simulated again by one. It is going to be random, but you are still going to get very similar price movement. So if that's something you prefer, you have that option. And from here, same thing, you can submit orders, whatever you want to test, 
the world is your oyster. But I hope you guys found this video useful. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Let me know on Discord. But as always, take care. Enjoy.